Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a face shave today, a bit of a different one. One that I'm sort of looking forward to and I'm not really looking forward to at the same time because I will be using one of these. This is the Parasol Chevette. And on this side it's got Save the Barber on here. You probably won't see it. And over here it's got 1993. I've got no idea what that refers to or what it means. I've got a brand new Gillette Nasset snapped blade in half. And that's loaded up already. Now when I got this it was a little bit loose on the thing here but the good thing is it's screws so I've just tightened it just a little bit both sides and it, it just holds it a little bit better. I like things to be slightly sticky rather than flopping all over the place. I don't know whether that's the way they're supposed to be or not but that's the way I prefer it. Okay so using a chevette I'm going to be using a really slick soap with great protection so Holy Caught Man from Mayfair which is Holy Cause Barbershop scent and I love it. It's, the scent's great but the performance is just phenomenal. The brush for today is the Wolf Whiskers Lime with the 25ml Ultra Fan which I'm not sure if Peter still actually has any of these left the, the, I mean these are true Ultra Fan some of them that I see that are supposed to be Ultra Fan don't look like that they look more of a hybrid between the fan and this so straight into the dry soap with the wet brush oh, I love this scent there's a good bit of scent strength in this one as well I mean it's around a good 5, at least a good 5, maybe even up towards a 6. Now I am looking forward to this but there will more than likely be blood. There will more than likely be cuts, nicks, weepers, maybe a little bit of swearing. Who knows. But I'm not going to dedicate this to anyone because it might well possibly be the bloodiest and longest dedication video ever made on YouTube. Right, I am loaded. Now, you guys might think I'm nuts, but there's no prep at all for this, other than that splash of water and applying the lather. There will be no other form of prep. I've never used a Chevette. I have never even used this one, I've no, I haven't even put it against my face to try it, I'm just going on based on what I've seen on YouTube. I'm not bothered about lining the sideburns up perfectly because I'm going to be shaving my head afterwards. It's the load painted on, I'm just going to dip the tips, paint some water in, and some some guys have been sort of watching this technique that I do well, it's not a technique that I do, it's just something that I've sort of picked up myself but I basically paint water on, you can see that slightly going opaque where you can see through to the skin so you can see that it's quite opaque that to me tells me that the brush is ready to display even though this is a difficult brush to display once you get to that point with the ladder to me that tells me there's enough water in the tips now I can display it and generally there's enough water there in, in the brush to whip up your lather as well. But with the holy call, I generally need more water because it's a very thirsty soap. Now, I'm not going for a super voluminous lather with this. I want it to be thick and protective. So I'm going to pretty much stop there, I think. 
gorgeous shine on that. It's not my usual thick, thick lather, but I don't need it with this razor. I want to. I just don't want to over face the razor. I suppose I don't know. I'm doing things differently when I shouldn't. But let's warm the blade up. I'm using warm water today. Stuck in. I'm going to do the right side first. I am going to switch hands, stuff it. I'm just going to do it. I've never used a razor right handed, left handed, so this will be the first time ever using this hand. But I'm going to start off on the right hand side. I think that's how you hold it, not 100% sure. I'm holding it the way it feels comfortable. And here we go. I'm just going to rinse it in the water. I tell you what, it feels it feels pretty smooth. It doesn't feel like it's slick, like a DE for some reason. I don't know whether it's because it's basically just a blade on your face. I'm not sure. Seems to be doing an all right job. Yeah, it's doing okay. And I'm doing okay, considering. <laughs> Obviously, it's a lot of blade feel because you're feeling the blade. Straight on your face. So far, no next cuts or weepers at all. Right, let me see how you hold this now with the left hand. <laughs> this is going to be the bit that's going to be really hard for me because I'm not a left hand. I can kick a football with my left foot. I'm pretty ambidextrous with my feet, but not my hands. Now, I have to give a massive shout out to Gil over at Second Kind of Cool because he's pretty much who I've watched mainly with the Chevette, a little bit of Spencer, but mainly Gil. And Spencer's, and I don't know, I, don't, I haven't watched many of Spencer's Chevette shaves, and he's not been around as long. I've watched a lot of Gil's Chevette shaves from the beginning as he sort of started out with it. So I've watched him start from the beginning as I am now and go through it. Whereas with Spencer, obviously Spencer started his channel and we knew, or he, he told us that he could use a chevette. So am I using that the right way again? I can't remember. Yeah, I think I am. Now people stretch the skin. See this, this, this is really... Really... Um. 
It's, it's really, it's really strange I'm trying to find an angle with my left hand. Right. Where is that feeling? I feel like I've got a bit of irritation under here. I'm not sure where. Well, I've got to get irritation. I've never used a bloody shoe before. So with my left hand I'm struggling to, to find that really shallow angle. Straight away, just switching from right to left, from left to right. I can find that angle straight away, even with the razor held backwards. Right, I'm going to do. I'm going to continue with my left. I've watched a lot of people sort of start out with these and do sort of a little bit and then go into the DE. I'm not really like that. I like to just do it. If I can do it, I can do it. If I can't, I can't. Now I've got some, I've got, I think that's two weepers there. But I'm not bothered about weepers. I'm more worried about slices. That's the first pass. I've got two weepers in. Other than that, pretty happy. I think that calls for a little sip of tea. Coffee, sorry. Coffee. I think I had three days growth. So quite a good bit of growth to chew through. Right, this is going to be awkward now. Doing the old side to side. But we shall give it a go. Now, I'm not going to be great coming this way because I would imagine you would have to. I suppose you use your left hand and your right, so let's try that. Right hand and the left.
pretty close. Give it that. And then, this is where I'm sort of coming stuck in. Definitely get some irritation, that's for sure. Quite a bit of it. Yeah, see that? I don't know, I'm gonna have to play about with this, I think. I said I wanted to finish it off with this razor. I think going sideways and things like that, I'm going to struggle. As you can see, I've been all over the place. So let's just grab a nice mild razor. We'll just finish it off. For a first attempt. happy with that. When I see it through a full pass and um, run about half. I'm going to have to pay a little bit more attention. Watch it on YouTube. For the angles. How to come across green underneath and things like that. I can't go against the green which makes it difficult. against the grain feels, with holding that razor, it feels like it would be quite natural to come against the grain. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Could have went a whole lot worse, but it didn't. A full first pass, which I'm quite happy with. Lots of irritation, lots, <laughs> especially on this part of my neck under here, but on my chin. Now I'm just going to finish off with. Like buggery. I'm going to use it anyway. She moisture shave after shave bump and ingrown hair prevention. And then I'll let that dry in a bit. We can look at what was used. So the soap for today was Man from Mayfair from Holy Call. Beautiful scent, beautiful performance. It's a really like a really, really thick, creamy sort of lana. It's not, there's no air bubbles in it really at all. It just goes thick. It smells amazing and performs exceptionally well. As you can see, there's a lot of redness down there now. There was going to be. 
So it's a little dish of it. So just a little. At this stage, it's not for me. I don't like to feel like I have to concentrate too much on a tree. I like to just shave. Although it still takes me 20 30 minutes, I like to just do it, not think about it, not worry about having to cut myself and things. The brush was Wolf Whiskers 25mm Ultra Fan, which has become a stunning knot. Really, really enjoying it now. I did struggle with it in the beginning, get it to splay and stuff, but not anymore. The razor was the Parasso Chevette. Oh, wait, is it? Is that way? So that's Parasso there. And then we've got Save the Barber. Uh, 1993. It's a lovely Chevette, it really is. Looks great, it's got a lovely feel to it, nice weight, it's a good quality. Now this is allegedly made in Italy, but I have seen a lot of these razors on things like Alibaba and AliExpress that look very similar to this, so I don't know whether it is or isn't. It says it is, and Parasso are quite a well-renowned company, so I would imagine that they'll be telling the truth. But it looks great, everything fits well, lovely shaped, nice, real wood, it is it does feel like it repels water quite a bit, which is good. Finished off with the Razor Rock MJ90, nice mild razor just to get the job done. Shea Moisture Shave, and now I'm going to finish off with a little bit of Nivea Sensitive Cool. A tiny little bit of that, I don't need a lot of this. Otherwise I find that the Nivea stuff gets quite greasy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap. So as you can see down here, there's a lot of redness down here, but the moisturizer and the Shea Moisture Shave will help get rid of that. But other than that, everything else, you know, it's a bloody close shave. I know I've used the DE, but even, in, even at that, yeah, really happy with that. I really am, considering it's my first ever go with it. So, stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.